Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be doing an overview of the dashboard of Get Flywheel. Right, so because this is a free account, I just created a subdomain here. This is why you see this 14 days left. Now, if you're building this website for a client, it's ideal because you can just show them your progress without actually committing to paying anything. And this is a feature that very few web hosting companies do. So I really like this feature. So here, this will be a countdown. It will be counting down. And there's a few cases where I've had to get in touch with the support team at Get Flywheel. They may give you an extension if you need a bit more time to work on the website which is, I think, very good. Let's look at the next thing. So here is the overview. Now here, this is where you can get to add collaborators. So if you need people to help you with your website, you can add them here and then you can allow them access to help you work on the website. Okay, let's move on to the next tab. So the next tab here is the stats. This is where you get to see how many people are visiting your website. So I think this is a really cool feature. So if you're doing any sort of marketing campaigns, you can get to see if that campaign is working because this graph will show you how many visits you're getting every single day. Right, let's move on to the third one. Now here, this is where you get to see all your add-ons. So the first add-on here is SSL. This is where you get to encrypt your website. So all the uh, communication between your sites and your site visitors is secure. Google announced that this feature is going to be compulsory for websites moving forward. So by GetFlywheel providing this for us for free, I think that's really cool because some other web hosting companies actually charge you for this. You have to get an SSL certificate. The whole process is quite difficult as well. And I've set up SSL on a few of my websites and it's very straightforward. So I think this is a very good feature. Now let's move on to the CDN. Now the content distribution network makes your website faster, but I recommend you switch this on once your website is getting bigger and you're getting a lot of traffic. It's no point in setting it up, otherwise it's just gonna be an extra cost moving forward, okay? And this multi-site network, I don't really use this to be honest, but that feature is there if you need it. Let's move on to backups, and this is one of my favorite. Now, when it comes to backups, if you're building a website or you're running a website and you don't have the option to go back to an earlier version of the website which was working well, that can be a big, big problem. Now, there are other solutions out there like plugins, which you can use to do this, but they require a bit of technical expertise. With this, it's very straightforward. You can see all your backups listed here. And if you need to restore a backup, you just click restore. Uh, if you need to create a backup, it's very easy. In fact, let's create a backup right now. So if I click on here, where it says create new backup. So let's call this a backup 01 create backup. Okay, so that process is happening. You can see right here, backup is in progress. So at any point when something goes wrong with your website, you can just roll back and restore that backup and it's very easy. Okay, let's move on to the advanced tab. So right here on the advanced tab, this is where you can get to uh, flush your cache. Sometimes this happens when you're making changes to your websites and uh, there's a plugin that's probably conflicting with your website but this is obviously an advanced thing, but you have the option here to flush the cache if you need to. And then here, you can disable the caching if you're in development mode, but I don't really use this most of the time because when I work on my websites, it's not a requirement for me to disable this. And then right here, you can enable the debug mode. You can actually um, switch it on and see what problems you're getting as you're working on your website. Now this option here, staging, this is fantastic. Now what this staging does is it allows you to get a snapshot of your current website. So pretty much you're having a copy of your current running website. And on that copy, you can actually do even more developments, like for example, a complete refresh or a redesign of the website. If it means adding new plugins, you can actually start adding new plugins, test it. And if everything is working fine, all you have to do is to click a button and your current running website is replaced with the staging website. So I think this is really, really cool. And then finally here on the export logs, this is where you get to see what's going on on your website if you're having any problems. So you can actually export the logs and see where your problems are. And then finally here is the billing tab. If you click on the billing, you know what I'm talking about. It's all about the billing. <laughs> okay, so that's a roundup of the admin dashboard of Get Flywheel. In the next video, I'll be covering a few more items, but this time I'll be working on a paid version, which you'll get to see even more items on it.